This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Gamefly. Go to www.gamefly.com slash appjudgment for your free trial membership. Hello and welcome to App Judgment. I'm Eileen and with me is Ron. How are you doing? Uh, good, how are you? I'm good. Nice to have yeah, this is the first time we've been you. sitting here. On the desk. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Well, uh, first bit of big news is that we've just launched an app yes, for the, the iPhone. The official Revision 3 app is now available in the iTunes store. Uh, for those who might not know, in addition to uh, help, helping out with App Judgment, I also work on the uh, Revision 3 website and web team and that sort of thing. And we're very excited to finally get the official Revision 3 iPhone app. It's version 1.0. So it's pretty simple. You can you can download the app for free. It's totally for free. Watch all of our shows. We're going to be adding in new features and new functionality as the app uh, moves on. So please let us know what you think of it. Let us know what you want to see from it. Um, we're not going to review the app on App Judgment no. because that'd be a little self-serving. A little biased. A little bit. But I like that yeah. you can see the show notes. You can see comments on yeah. the episode from the forums and all of that it's, stuff. It's a great way to watch Revision Three on the go on your on your iPhone. It does work on the iPad, and we are working on an iPad specific app as well. So be on the lookout for that soon. Yeah. Android people are also... A Android's great. under development as well. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're busting out the apps for Revision 3. So uh, we're very excited. So we hope you all like it. Um, and feel free to review it yourselves. Uh, yeah, let us know. Yeah, Email exactly. Us. So. But today is actually Android Day. Yes, my now, beloved Android. Now, Ron, I had a little bit of ribbing with some of my Twitter friends who I are saw that, um, yeah. uh, Android people yep. and very, very pro physical keyboard. Yep. And I kind of was teasing them, like, come on, you don't need that. I got to admit, I can relate to them. I was one, of the, okay. one of the things I was most scared about when I switched from the G1 to the Nexus one was getting rid of the physical keyboard. I mm. love, I've had a physical keyboard for five, eight, five six years now, mm -hmm. and just I could type so fast. I could type email so fast. You were and entering competitions, you? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> I always lost those kids. Those 12-year-old kids always beat me. But, um, so I, but I switched to the Nexus one because I needed a faster phone. I said, you know, I'm going to deal with the on-screen keyboard. And I'll be honest, I, my typing is slow. I'm like my big meat paws. I can't, you know, like the keyboard is so small. Mm -hmm. And I tried downloading better keyboard and some other keyboard apps, but I still, Nothing. tons of typos until recently. And I've finally downloaded the app that has changed uh, everything for me in terms of using the keyboard on the, on the Android. And now I'm back up to my original speed. Wow. Yep. OK. I know that the app is called Swipe. Swipe. Uh, it's in beta for a limited time. So you're going to want to go online and find and, and download it while you can. I'm sure they're going to release it soon. And they're probably going to be charging for it because it's just so amazing. But Swipe completely made typing on the phone so much easier. Mm -hmm. uh, what it basically does is it just puts up a keyboard on the screen. And all you do is connect the dots between the letters that you want to type for a word, and it automatically pops that word in. Now, how fast are you actually typing now? I'm typing pretty fast. I, I, I don't mean, know if I, paragraphs? I, paragraphs, or? like full text messages in about half the time that I was doing before with the hunt and peck with the keys. And how are you doing with like email, emailing, you know? E email's been notes. great. I mean, everything, I mean, honestly, it's 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 as close to going back to the physical keyboard um, as I've been So yet. show me exactly right. how that works. So, so if I'm going to text message somebody, right, mm -hmm. um, it just replaces my, um, it just replaces my keyboard. Uh, on the phone, and actually, if you don't know how to do that, if you install Better Keyboard or Swipe or another uh, input method, all you gotta do is press and hold on where you type in, mm -hmm. and Android will prompt you to ask you what um, what input method you want to use, and oh, you can choose it. Okay. So I choose Swipe, and it gives me a standard keyboard, okay. and then um, all I do is just connect the dots. So I just say hey, and it's got this great. Um, suggestion service, so if it's not sure what you meant to type, yeah. it'll come up with a little window and say, and it tell you, is this what you meant? So you just go from letter to letter. Yep. Hey, and it's got all the symbols. Up? I say, uh, do you want <laughs> okay, cool. to talk? Yep. Yeah. Cool. So it's as easy as connecting the dots. It's amazing. The keys are big enough that you can easily navigate to them. Shifting, going uh, to capitals or lowercase is easy. Mm -hmm. um, I've done some big words like uh, necessarily, <laughs> and, you know, and it totally, it totally found them. When it's not quite sure if you're kind of um, all over the place with the, with the connecting the dots, if it's not sure, it'll come up with that little window to give you a couple of suggestions. Okay. And when it does that, all you need to do is um, you can just tap and choose which one you want. I'm trying to get it come up now. Um, or you can just swipe in the direction of the, of the word that you want. 
cool. Yeah, so it's really cool. It's an innovative way to interface with the keyboard, and I, I've been blown away. It, I tweeted about it uh, when I first looked at it. Yeah. It's been a while since there's an app that's been knocking me off my socks, and it's this app. No cons? Do you have any no cons? cons? No cons. No cons. It's, it's my way. new keyboard. It's totally it's my new keyboard. Wow. Yeah, I love it. No cons. It's a no-brainer download. Seriously, when they release the full version, if they charge for it, it's going to be worth every penny, assuming it's you know within reason. Okay, to my Android <laughs> friends out there who I was reading, yes. who you are. Check out Swipe. Yes. It's worth it. All right, cool. Yep. Thanks, Ron. My Thanks pleasure. for showing off Swipe. Always. And uh, let us know what you think of Swipe and our iPhone app. Email us at appjudgment at revision3.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter. Find us on YouTube and actually go on to our moderator page and tell us what app you'd like us to review. Yep. And you can also subscribe on our homepage, revision3.com slash appjudgment. All right, thanks for watching. Hey gamers, Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service and offers you a choice from over 7,000 new and classic titles across all consoles and handhelds. With plans starting at $15.95 a month, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them for as long as they like. There are no late fees, no due dates, and shipping is always free. If you really like the game you're playing, simply click Keep It on the Gamefly website and the game is yours at a discounted price. App Judgment fans get a 15-day free trial when they go to www.gamefly.com slash appjudgment.